Job beautiful people, welcome back on the desk. Today we are going to be making this fabulous Victorian embellishment. This is fabulous for Jack Journals, craft, uh, paper craft embellishment. Um, can do a little mini belly bands, can do anything that you want. But before I show you how to make them, let me show you what paper I have used, which is those two here. They are my uh, VIP lounge for this month. Every Wednesday, as you guys know, we do a video showcasing my VIP papers, just to give my VIP members some ideas of what to do with the papers. It's a subscription, it's fabulous. It's super value for money, I guess, I believe, and I have a lot of fab fabulous feedback from the um, the members. So keep watching, guys, and let me show you the papers. Okay, the first kit is called Addicted to Chocolate. Put your hands up if you're addicted to chocolate. I put mine up. <laughs> this, um, this kit has got four pages, and uh, basically what I had in my head I wanted uh, to create some background to create cards, tags, etc, etc, etc. Now, as you can see, on each page, you have four different backgrounds. They will make fabulous cards. You just need to put your sentiment that you can split into two and make some tags. We can fold them and make some little notebooks. You so many things. Got a couple of ideas I want to do with this. So let me just show you the four pages. So it's all about chocolate milk chocolate cream desserts uh, waffles and so on so oh look at that i could just dip that now <laughs> love 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 look at that i could just get a spoon and eat up like a chocolate custard oh yummy 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 look at that so that's kit number one Kit number two, it's called Pastel Pinks. Now, this is quite shabby, pretty pastel, very feminine, very elegant. I love it. I'm sure you guys will like it too. So you've got one page full of background. You've got some um, flowers and butterflies. Some tags. You can just ready-made. And then I added a, a geometric... If you watch my channel for a while, you know I'm a man of contrast. I like those two together. I like the structure or geometric, geometric print with the contrast of fluidity, fluidity of flowers and curves, etc. So I love those two together. So you get that. And then you get another page with um, one scallop envelope and two small envelopes. So this is your traditional rectangular envelope so you've got the back the two sides the bottom and the front and then this is just simply that's the two tabs fold that up and fold it over and that's your envelope and then my favorite and i left it for last is called good and fresh it's called good and fresh purely because in fact let me show you tada it's very summery it's very bright it's full of goodness. So there's a lot of vitamin C. There's a lot of vitamin D. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, do you know in summertime when you when it's very warm and you're outside, you're having a really cold drink and you have some fruit, you feel the goodness of the fruit and you feel fresh? I hope I'm making sense. So this is why it's called Good and Fresh. <laughs> so you've got one background. You have a page with pillow boxes in two different sizes it's mainly gift boxes okay then you've got another page with a cube gift box so can you see the four sides of the cube that's the two side that's the lid then you have a milk carton gift box you know if you're familiar with my channel i love making this this is what it looks like when it's done so you've got your four squares which are one, two, three, and four, the base. And then the two triangles is where the box fold inside and then the rectangle is the top, okay? And then you've got another page with another background. There's some uh, pomegranate, there are some, um, what do you call this? Not berries. Oh, some, oh God, 
do you know what I mean? Oranges, etc., etc. So, yeah, so that's the three paperback. But also, Christine, Christine is one of my VIP members. She gave me an idea. I always ask every month to my VIP members, to you guys, what would like to do for next month. And Christine gave me a fabulous idea. And Christine, and I will put Christine's comment on the screen. Christine said, why don't you give us some gift boxes to make? Of course, I made a gift boxes, but then I thought, no, let's do something special. So from now on, until the next, how many letters there are, each month, my VIP members will receive an alphabet, a letter gift box. So we would do all the letters, one a month, and then after the letters are gone, we would do numbers as well. Okay, so... I print this on copy paper, but I also printed on my cardstock and I'll show you in just a minute. So this is what you get. So you get one page with the instruction. Okay. So that's the, that's the front and that's the back of the gift box. That's the two sides that go there. That goes on top. Those two go there. So the small one will be there and the triangle will be there. And then those ones follow the bottom of the letter. Okay, and this is the back. So when you print it, this is this is the back and that's the front. As you can see, I already done the hard work for you. <laughs> you just need to cut it and put it up together. But what we're going to do, part of the uh, VIP membership, the guys, you guys get a video tutorial. So we will do it together how you put this up. Okay, so I printed on a cardstock because, of course, you want it, your gift box to be steady. Okay, and this is what the letter A looks like when it's all done up. So it's very, very simple. I've done a video for my um, VIP members, so part of the package, you get a video tutorial on how to put these up. But it's um, it's quite straightforward. So you've got the two sides, the top, this one goes inside and the five sides, which are those one, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. OK, so once done up is like that. So as I said, I have printed on pink cardstock, but if you want to print it on a white cardstock and make it really thick, this will be less pink. It will be more like this. It's just a different, um, just a different feel, I guess. But I did. I did want to something pink because I'm going to make each letter in different colours, of course, and different designs. So I'll give you a variety of, you know, design and colours. So not all the letters will be floral, will be different um, geometric or, you know, floral print. I will be creative or when I design the letters. OK. OK, guys, I've got loads of things on my desk. Things I want to talk to you about. Right. So. Starting point, um, this one here. So we've got, um, I got this die from eBay and I've done a video, which I will put at the end of this video, I've done a couple of videos on how to use this die. It's not branded. It was only four pound. Um, I'm not sure if it's the copy or another die, but I will really highly recommend it because um, you can make some really nice film strips. Um, so I was thinking to use my this month uh, VIP um, papers, uh, the pink one, part of the um, the shabby pink. So I thought we will glue that on top. Uh, so we'll probably do two uh, two film strips with the flowers, and maybe we do two film strips. Oh, I got f how come so I've got five? Because this should be six. Because it's well, the five. I thought there were six. But it's definitely not one. No, five. I thought it was six. Anyway, uh, five, five. We are. This is just a scrap. Um, it's a page from the music. Um, music sheet. So what I will probably trying to do is to glue it in a way that you see the word, you see the word in and you see the musical, the notes, rather than do something like that. Because I think it's, oh, actually, yeah, no, I think it's nicer like that. Yeah. So stage number one, <laughs> 
glue your film strip to something that you like okay so we're going to do two with florals and two with music uh notes sheets okay so i've got the film strip so this is with the music these these basically were from tmold's um Tim also the page with all the uh, tape measures, vintage tape measure. So I've only got those two left. Um, so I put it, the film strips on that. This is another one when I put the two tapes together. So that's two different ones. I mean, you can, there is a bit of black uh, white paper there, but we will sort it when we put the image on top. And then those two with the floral paper. And just to give you some ideas, on how to excuse me how to achieve different looks with different papers so i'm gonna leave them here on my right hand side so you guys can see i've got this book it's called victorian fashions a pictorial archive in, by carol blang grafton now this book is in black and white which i was a bit annoyed about because it didn't say in the descriptions that it got, was going to be black and white. So I was a bit, mm, that's not very nice. But never mind, never mind. It's fine. I got it. The good things about this book is that the pictures are copyright free. So I can use them to make digitals, which I will. So for this project today, I'm going to select a selection of, um, I'm going to select selection. I'm going to select some um, victorian um small pictures that will complement um i love this broly how cool is that so we're definitely gonna have the broly yes yes the broly so we need four more so let's have a look here so I will definitely, definitely use them on my um, on my digital. They're beautiful images, don't get me wrong. Look at them, they're absolutely gorgeous. But nowhere was written that was black and white. But never mind, it's fine, I got it. I didn't want to send it back because I will use it. But I will just be annoyed, that, that was all. Um, I do like the fan, but let's come back. See if there's anything more a bit more interesting. So let's have a look. I don't want anything too big because I don't want to cover the strips too much. Look at that colour, gorgeous. Oh, look how fashion was not long ago, really. I like this one. So we need three more. I wish it was a small one of these women in small. Love that corset. You see all these women are quite big. <coughs> Excuse me. Love her with the fur coat. That's quite nice actually. It's little, uh, I think they're like handkerchiefs, or they look handkerchiefs to me. We've got three, two more. Come on, give me a small lady. Love these handkerchiefs. Um, what about, do you think she's a bit too big? Yeah. What about if I, yeah, I'm gonna use her and cut it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I've got an idea in my head. Sorry if I don't talk, but when I don't talk, my brain is spinning. So that's why I, when I got quiet, it's because I'm thinking. <laughs> um, oh, look how gorgeous this hat is.
you see she's perfect but she looks a bit decapitated well i think if i get her i can cut in a way that don't look like we just decapitate her do you know what i'm saying like she looks that we just chop her head right if i instead if i fussy cut it there and save I could probably save the hands right. leave it with me right okay so we got the five pictures images even and i was thinking to use some cheesecloth um just to give it that extra vintagey life not mixed media but a bit of texture looking right let me fussy cut and i'll be right back okay guys so i've got my victorian pictures of fussy cut so what i was thinking was so use the table uh, the tablecloth the cheesecloth um just to give it a little bit of more interest and just simply do some layering like that and then maybe just do an eyelet there and like maybe a couple of eyelets or one there and one there okay so i'm gonna speed it up i'm gonna show you what i'm doing i got no plan i do like those ones uh, this is from amazon um it's like a little floral trim but I, i'm not sure if it's gonna be covered and i don't really want to cut it so like i was thinking to do something maybe actually when i might use this on um, on their handkerchiefs because they're quite small because otherwise it would be a quite big film strips for just those two pieces like that what do you guys think yeah let's do that i think we're going to do that right let me glue it but i'm gonna speed it up a little bit so you can, at least can see what i'm doing but we make this video a little bit shorter. Dan, finito, what do you guys think? Let me show you one by one. Apologies, I've got glue all, all over my hand. So this is one. So this is with the napkins, with the veil. In fact, I think it goes like that. Or like that. Mm, I don't know. I think like that. What do you guys think? One. This is my favourite. It's her. The good things about the tablecloth, that you can, with your finger, you can just open it and shred it and yeah i think it's quite it's a, it's a really interesting fabric to use when you make this sort of embellishment because um yeah it's really really um moldable if it's the word not bad for being black and white what do you guys think i do think the floral paper works really well with this sort of project because you can see compared to Maybe a darker background, having something bright and floral on, on the background make the image pop out a little bit more. When it's like this, when you've got sort of like everything is a bit blend, it, nothing sticks up more. But uh, this reminds me of Mary Poppins' um, umbrella. It had the, um, what animal was it? Was it a parrot at the end? I'm sure it was a parrot. It was a bird. I'm sure it was a bird. And this is another Victorian lady. So do you remember what I said to you about that picture that she was decapitated? So fussy cut in this way, it looks like less that we chop ahead and more, same as what I've done here, um, and then more like purposely. Uh, we're definitely going to do uh, next month, um, or actually the month after, because I already designed a kit for June. In July, I'm going to do a VIP uh, kit using uh, this lovely lady. It's absolutely 100% I'm going to do that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, let me uh, let me show you where to find my VIP papers and how to subscribe to these fabulous subscriptions because you get loads and loads and loads for your money. 
Okay guys, so this is my website. When you click on VIP Lounge, this is the screen that will appear. So it says, choose your monthly membership plan. As a VIP member, you get super spoiled. Join today for special treat. I have three monthly subscriptions and the yearly membership. So it's completely up to you. You can pay monthly or you can just pay one off that will last for, for 12 months. On the monthly basis, we have the pink butterfly, the blue butterfly and the gold butterfly. With the pink butterfly, you will get 10% discount across all digital papers on my website. One mini, which is a four pages digital paper pack and a monthly special offer or a gift. With the blue butterfly, which is £4 a month, you will get 20% discount across all digital papers on the website. Two minis, which is four pages each, digital papers, and then a monthly special offer and gift. With the £5 one, which is the gold butterfly, which is the premium one, you get everything. <laughs> you get 30% discount across all digital papers. You have all the three four pages digital paper packs all the paper packs are designed specifically for the vip members they're not available for any everybody else on the website a monthly offer and also one a5 size fine art print delivered to your home address and a special video we project and tutorial okay with the 12 months one which is the 45 pound you just pay a front, it will last 12 months and it's the same benefit as the gold butterfly. So when you join the gold butterfly, I say here is once A5 size fine art print delivered, basically as it's one of those ones. So the idea fairy or the muse of poetry, they are printed on watercolor paper and then get shipped to your home address for free because I offer complimentary delivery for all my VIP members. Okay, so it's up to you guys. So you've got three different memberships, monthly or an early one. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Before we go, I'm just going to put at the end of this video, a um, couple of videos I have used with, the, um, with this die set. So if you got it, or if you're thinking to buy it from eBay or Amazon or somewhere very cheap, I'll give you some ideas um, for you guys can carry on watching. I will see you on Friday for a very special freebie. And until then, stay safe and well. And don't forget to give me a really big thumbs up because it helps with my journey here on YouTube. Because when you put thumbs up on my videos, you're telling YouTube that I'm fabulous. And I am fabulous. <laughs> no, it really helps me, guys. So if you don't mind, it's free, but it means a lot. Okay. See you Friday. Thank you for thank you for watching once again and bye for now.